It's the Izzy and Coco Book Review Show. Hello. Welcome to Izzy and Coco's Book Review Show. We are Coco and Izzy from Zapper Animals, and we will be reviewing our favorite books or books we might not like right here. Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing uh, The Spellman Files by Lisa Lutz. It's a mystery novel about a family of private investigators, a dysfunctional family of private investigators, who are really great at their job, but they can't differentiate between work and their personal life. So they tell each other, they bug their phone lines, they blackmail each other, and the main character, Isabel, is tired of having to fight for her privacy, so she decided to quit the family business. But before she leaves, she wants to try one final case. She wants to solve one final case. And amongst all this, uh, it all revolves around the her little sister's disappearance that has also happened along the way. Definitely yay. I love this book. I, I The author is one of my favorite, Lisa Lutz, and this series. Uh, we're only, only going to discuss the first book, but let me tell you, this series gets better and better with each book. It's an... I loved it. Love it. It's witty, incredibly funny, very smart character. The dialogue's amazing. Yeah. I think uh, Lisa Lutz does a great job of creating these kooky characters that you are totally on board with. And all the reasons why they're so crazy are totally plausible. And um, another thing that you mentioned that the series just gets better and better. Mm -hmm. I think this one, this is like an awesome first book but the rest of the series has the love interest has yeah. a more of a love story yes so that's why right. i like the other ones more but this one is it's definitely a, a really good job of setting the whole universe of crazy pi yeah. investigators it's a great book and I, each time i meet somebody and they ask me what book do you recommend this book is the one that I always my go-to recommend book so yeah. i totally yay yeah. <laughs> i recommend it me too. Okay, so my favorite line was um, when Isabel's dad catches her, and he's like, what's new? Nothing much. Your clothes say otherwise. I wasn't aware that my clothes were on speaking terms with you. <laughs> oh, they are. What are my clothes saying? They're telling me that you're up to something. Harsh words from fabric, wouldn't you say? The dress is easy. They're suspicious, my father said, slowly raising his voice. Okay. That your favorite line. What did he catch her in, though? What was, <laughs> what was it? She is dating the dentist, and yes. she really likes the dentist. But Wait, she but doesn't she's want to freak him. him out. Yeah, she she's hiding him from the family, but she doesn't want to freak him out that she's a private investigator because the guy she just dated, she ran a credit report on his brother, and she just casually mentioned his brother's bankruptcy and the guy caught that he had never mentioned it to her. It's like, yeah. did you run a credit report on my brother? And so he broke up with her. Yes. So she's like, I can't tell him that he's a, a that I'm a private investigator or he's going to freak out. And I really like this guy. Yeah. So she told him that she's a teacher. And That's she usually, why she has the dress. And she usually wears jeans and like a leather jacket and boots and like she's super yeah. not teacher dressing. So she's been wearing pencil skirts and dresses and like her whole family that, yeah. is like, what is going on? You. you are suspicious and you're up to something. And uh, that's that's what that line was about. And I thought it was perfect because because that's it. Like j she's she's wearing a different outfit and her whole family is like, what, what the, the hell, hell is to? going on? So that's why they start tailing her and they start doing surveillance on her. And then <laughs> that's why she's like, I'm going to quit because like you guys put a t the little sister to sur do surveillance on her. And she's like, this is ridiculous. And, you know, because they want to find out who her boyfriend is. Yeah. And she doesn't want to say because they're crazy and she's afraid they're going to scare him away. So I thought that conversation boiled the whole book to that. What I like about Izzy Spellman, the main character, she is not your typical put together 28, 28 year old person. She's a heavy drinker, doesn't seem to have her shit together. She's, she's very, even though her family is crazy, she's somehow the black sheep. She's like an underachiever, doesn't really care much about her career 
But all those things would make you not want to like that character. <laughs> I know, exactly. All those it's, this seems like a loser of a person. However, she's incredibly charming. She's, yeah, she's got this, like, rebellious um, personality yeah. that just really clicks with the reader, or yeah. at least with me. <laughs> yeah. And um, just, like, she's defiant. I love mm-hmm. how she's such a strong, defiant person, and she's not independent because she still lives with her parents. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> but uh, she's just like strong and funny and she's not afraid. She's tough. Mm-hmm. Like she'll go, well, she was tough. It was with a little 14-year-old boy. But <laughs> oh no, there was also a grown man that she was like, you know, she could be physically threatening, you know, yeah. that you she'll know. take on anybody. Yeah, I felt that that, that was awesome, you know, someone mm-hmm. that a, a female character that can stand up for herself. And it, this is not like a, a one of those novels where like the main character is like awesome at kung fu and just kicks, you know, no, people's she's, ass or anything. She like, has a lot of flaws, but that's what I don't know, that's what I love about her. Yeah, she's not, you would think she's lazy, but she's not. She like works hard. Are creating like these very intricate pranks on people as well. <laughs> she really goes all out. It's just like yeah, it's, yeah. I don't know. I, it's I don't know. I just like you fall in love with Izzy Spellman. Like she, I think the more she has so many flaws, this it makes her even more lovable. Yeah, and. and Although I've got to say that sometimes when like she was paranoid, it's like I can't, I can't stop and uh, talk to my dad, you know, and they're gonna catch me, and I have to keep running from them. And I'm like, hold on a minute, just stop for a second and tell them something, you know? Yeah. It's like it, the paranoia got a little out of control towards the end, like when you know yeah. it's uh level five, <laughs> cold red, and she's like freaking out. It's like. She broke the headlights in every car of the household so that she could see who was tailing her. Oh, my God. And then, yeah, so it, it got a little out of hand. But at that point, I was like, okay, this is a little too much. You guys need to wrap it up. But yeah. the rest of the book, I was on board. This is a cool kind of... I liked about the writing is that she really develops the voice of each of her characters. So you get really... To, you can distinguish the the maniac, a little 14-year-old from yeah. Izzy Spellman, the 28-year-old who's also, they have a similar personality but you can totally tell that they're different voices from the from the old yeah. crazy uncle, from the perfect brother, like she has she developed the voices really well hmm. and the other thing I liked about the writing is that the way she does her exposition she goes back into the family story and sets it up and shows you why they're so crazy and how it all began, how the parents met, how they're all raised in this crazy private investigator household. And it's all done through the interview with the detective that's investigating uh, Ray's um, disappearance. And so it's it just, it's put in perfectly. It doesn't seem like a hack. It just, it's seamless. So I really like that. Izzy Spellman's romantic life. What a mess. She, I think she describes, she has little footnotes of, she has about, how many ex-boyfriends? Uh, she'll have nine by the end of the book. But <laughs> she has a list, she has lists of things. Like, she has lists of pranks she's done, She has li- and she has a list of ex-boyfriends. And each one is has the name, their occupation, their hobby, and the last line. <laughs> and the last line is usually what they say to break up with her. Oh. So... The the romance in this book, I, it was it seemed more like a friendship than a romance. It was the one with the dentist, with exactly. Daniel. So it was interesting. Like she seemed like she liked him, but it was, yeah. I, I think they and they will continue to be friends in other books, right? Mm-hmm. They do. But they do mention at the end of the book that. So- She's like, oh, I wonder if Henry Stone could be a possible ex-boyfriend number 10. Henry Stone is the lead investigator of the case when her sister disappears. Mm -hmm. He's the one who was the detective who was looking into the missing case. And you guys have, if you're going to continue the series, you have this to look forward to. Because I love the chemistry because he's a no-nonsense, no-bullshit guy, by-the-law everything. I think... Almost OCD, 
The complete opposite. Super clean, yeah. He's super, super clean, clean. Complete, eats three meals a day, healthy. Complete opposite of uh, Izzy. Yes, yes. And so. That, it's really cute how they attract each other. And he's also a little older. When I started reading, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, no. But then uh, I'm totally on board with that relationship. It is yeah. so cute because, like, he's trying to draw the line and she's a crazy mess. <laughs> and it's it's just awesome to read that Yeah, I'm a Henry Stone fan. Yeah, me too. Very, very cute relationship. They have. So, yeah, this is the love of future books, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, it, was, it was cute. The, the guy, the dentist guy was really nice in this book. He's a super nice guy. But, you know, just just not someone who can handle the craziness no. that is Izzy Spellman, so... Yeah, and it's funny how they... I didn't, like, love the character. There's nothing wrong with him. He's a nice person, but... Yeah, like, like when he broke up with Izzy. her... Yeah, when he broke up with her, I was like, yeah, that's not yeah. right. Nah. Um, you know, you're a nice guy, but... Yeah. That, that's as, 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 as much as I'm going to cheer for you. <laughs> exactly. What did... What did you... Uh, you consider your favorite, like, m- character other than than Izzy. What was your next favorite? character? Oh, my favorite character is her little sister Ray. Really? Yeah. I mean, in this book, it's perfect because she's yeah. fourteen years old, so she's, she's a cute. little maniac, and she, and she blackmails every single family member. Yeah. So her brother, she has dirt on his brother, so her brother gives her money. He has dirt <laughs> on his sister, so she has to get her out of the camp, and she, you know, she. Um, I love how her brother taught her to negotiate. Oh, so she yeah. will negotiate taking a shower, cutting her <laughs> hair, brushing her teeth, doing anything. And that she's also, she loves being a private investigator. She's so little. Yeah. And she's she, she's just such a force to reckon with that she always get a, gets whatever she wants. Yeah. It's like, it's actually scary. When she sets her little eyes on you, you better run the other way. Oh, it's terrifying. She, yeah. And her, the whole uh, war with her uncle, Uncle Ray, and she's The Ray Wars? The Ray Wars. That was hilarious. And then at the end, because she despised her uncle, and then finally at the end of that whole um, holding his lucky short hostage situation, (laughs) then become friends. And then her her, her uncles were like, oh my God, no, she's too much. I'd prefer it when she hated me. I know. Once you have... Raise full attention, whether it's negative or positive, it's overwhelming. It's too yes. much. It's yeah. like a laser. She's she will obs- blow she'll you away. Obsessed. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was my favorite character, too. She was also your favorite character? You know what would be great? Not because the series has ended. There's five books, and but it would be awesome to have a series on the little sister, right? Oh, that would be as good. an adult, because yeah. she is. By, by yeah, she's going to be even adult. more psycho than Izzy. Yeah, she is yeah. crazy. Yeah, and she, Izzy has boundaries of right and wrong. Ray just is whatever is good for her. Is like oh my god, yeah, she has no balance. I don't know if that's like a sociopath or a psychopath <laughs> or I don't know, but she definitely has some mental issues. But she's at fourteen. That is lovable because she's a little yeah. kid, so like yeah. doing all those crazy things. Later, I don't know how much mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So, so that she was also your favorite character. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So thank you for joining us in Izzy and Coco's book review show. Uh, if you want to continue the discussion with us, you can leave us a message below, and we will, if you're nice, get back to you. <laughs> yes. And also, don't forget to check out dapperanimals.com. And yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs>